my name is David Appleyard. I'm doing the Master of Enterprise course part-time at the university and I work as the editor of a series of technology blogs. Working as a blog editor, you realise that it's very difficult to find writers for your publication and the idea behind Recruiter Writer is to, to fill that void so that there's a system that helps editors find, find writers for their blog and also helps writers find work. Just in my job I've noticed that it's a problem and I suppose when you deal with a problem every day you kind of wish there was a solution to it and you wish that there was an easier way of doing it and if, if there isn't one then why not make it yourself I suppose. It's got a lot of potential and it's something I'd use myself so I would hope that other people would, would use it as well. I think regardless of whether or not I, I get investment from Venture Further I'll be focusing on this for the next two or three years. In three years it'd be great if this is supporting me financially and it's a business that I can run myself and be part of every day. But it'd also be nice to employ other people and, and give them the opportunity I've had and you know, kind of help them become part of the vision that I have for it as well. I'm John Wade, uh, first year civil engineering uh, on the Bachelors of Engineering here at Manchester. The business is called Cav Form. The Cav Form system is an alternative method of constructing a cavity wall when cladding in random stone. However, we think it's applicable to every cavity when constructing a house. This product not only saves cost to the user, um, it's quicker, uh, but the environmental benefits as well. Concrete blocks are high in energy to produce them and our cab form recycled plastic is a, a better alternative all round. I hope that the cab form system will be used on every new build in the UK. Hopefully uh, in years to come we can expand into international markets as we've applied for an international patent and hopefully yeah, spread around the world. My name's Alice Myers, I'm currently studying Masters of Enterprise, specialising in textiles and fashion. Lemagre is a small, bespoke design company specialising in the refurbishment of vintage suitcases using specially designed fabrics. Travel is a massive, massive interest of mine. I've done a lot. I took a gap year out and I travelled for a year and it's there when I realised I wanted to do something related to travel and design. That's where my passion is. The idea of restoring something which would normally be discarded but now can be reused again for the next, what, 50 years. I've developed prototypes and I've got a full fabric collection with others in the pipeline. I am fully committed. I believe in the designs and I know they're good enough. And this Venture Further competition has just pushed it further and made me realise that actually this has got the potential I think it has and other people do believe it does as well. My name is Nicholas Henderson. I am currently in my final year studying internet computing at the University of Manchester. I am the Managing Director of The Printers Inc. We as a company are looking to develop a series of smartphone and web applications to expand the printing industry and change the printing paradigm forever. We are going to implement a button factory which will allow artists all over the world to be able to sell their prints online to absolutely anyone. That's the first part of our service. The second part of our service will allow a print from anywhere smartphone app allowing people to take a digital photograph anywhere in the world and get it printed on a variety of different medias and delivered anywhere in the world as well at the click of a button. We are closing the gap between consumers and being able to receive their prints. Artists will be able to publicise themselves, will be able to create a revenue from the work that they do rather than just leave it dormant on the web. My name's Christina Taylor, I study business and politics and I'm in my second year of study. My business idea is called Raising Aspirations and we work with underprivileged children to provide them with a special performing arts school that is catered to their socio-economic needs. 
I've been running this business as a voluntary organisation for the past three years. The business concept comes from my personal experiences of growing up in inner city Manchester whereby there weren't a lot of activities outside of school to be able to participate in. So I decided to take it upon myself to set up a dance group with a lot of my friends. It means a lot to me to be able to help young people because a lot of them actually don't know what they can achieve or what the potential is in themselves. I'm Imtaz ul -Haq. I'm in my second year of my PhD and I'm studying finance. My business idea is called Ignite and it basically provides a revolutionary approach to raising seed capital for uh, social enterprises. The motivation for my idea is to provide seed capital to uh, deprive people in poorer regions of my country, Pakistan. There's a link between the economic situation over there and the support for terrorism. And I had a few friends telling me, you know, they've, they've met people who had to send their children away to extremist organizations because they couldn't feed them. If we could give people the, the capital they need and the opportunities they need to set up businesses over there, it would not only create employment, it would also inspire other people to follow and it will give people hope in an alternative option. There's nowhere else in the world where social investments are used to fight terrorism. When I see the change for myself, that's when you know I believe that I really have been successful with Ignite.